here we are, up on the boat. Video wars. I'm videoing my, I think my equipment's way better. Oh, really? Hey, what's that fuzzy thing on there? So this is our first set of parts came in. And uh, we have issues. Measured this off last weekend so we could get our lifelines and stanchions up. And uh, apparently my measurement was not correct and those are not 45 degrees. They are 30 degrees, I guess. Um, I get to go check on the bowsprit, see if uh, see if my measurements were correct on that. I had 60 and 45 on those, and who knows, maybe they're 45 and 30. In which case, I at least have some use for a couple of those bases. What do you think? So, yeah, hopefully. I'm just wondering, I'm just checking in, because you seem a little different now than you were a few minutes ago. I was a little frustrated, yeah, because the camera wouldn't work and the parts that I bought are not working. Oh. So yeah, I get a little frustrated about that kind of thing. So we have this nice Lumar hatch. It's brand spanking new that we thought was going to work. We have the two hatches here. And as you can see, the existing one that needs a new piece of acrylic on it. Looks like it's going to fit just fine right there. But if I go up here to the forward, that thing's enormous. I think it's for exiting out a clown car or something. It's got to be 30 inches at least square. And if we come over and look at the hatch itself, that's got to be 18 inches square. So unless we feed it some kind of steroids or something, it's probably not going to work. So I guess, I guess that's trade bait. Wasn't Terry talking about suggesting that we add another one of these? This was going to be add an additional one somewhere? No, he didn't know he had that one until we found it in the box. Oh, okay. It doesn't mean we can't add another one. My but mistake. we'd have to be kind of careful about where we put it. You can't put it right there. There's that long, tall thing that sticks in that hole. Oh, yeah, the mask. And we could look up front, but uh, because of the curvature of the deck, I'm not really sure how that would work. Unless we made that hatch up front much, much smaller, which is doable, I guess, but I'd kind of like to have it big. So, now we're going to go inside and measure. Now that we have the fuel tank locations and the water and the holding tank locations, uh, we're going to remeasure again and see if we can come up with a good plan for those since uh, it was going to take like eight tanks to get enough tankage in the uh, bilge. The beast has gone for a swim already. Woof. Good girl. Good girl, Annie. I know, you want to come up, don't you? Not yet. Not the worst place in the world to be working on a boat. It's kind of nice to be able to get out out of the apartment since we're isolating ourselves, staying at home, social distancing. It's nice to be out here where there's nobody around. Yeah. Any guesses as to uh, what I do for a living? Anyway, we'll be back. That looks more like it. I 
think that's on the wrong side of the boat. Doesn't the bowsprit go on the other end? You're the one that installed it there. Uh, yeah. Now my very first thing. I screwed it up.